Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossips and Truths. In this truth seeker requested and inspired video, I will be talking about the beef again between Tamar and her sisters. Let's talk. As most of you should know, Tamar has finally saw the light and she finally see her sisters whom they are. So yes, she unfollowed all of them, not on Glamour. I mean, they say blood is thicker than water, but that doesn't mean shit. Everyone needs water to live. Just saying. Then there's the leaked story that I exposed of Tamar and being the voice behind Tony for so many years. And Trina too, she has shops. And Tony being diagnosed with lupus really messed up her vocal cords. You can't trust racist doctors that prey on people's ignorance. They can diagnose you with conditions you never had and prescribe you the medications that makes you feel worse than you initially felt originally. I know. I think they misdiagnosed my late mother. One day she's fine and the next she's collapsing on the bathroom floor and two years later she's dead. I hate hospitals and I don't trust doctors. I'm sorry. With that said, it was leaked and reported that Clive Davis didn't like that Tony's career was doing better than his at the time starlet the late Winnie Houston at some point. Now, at this time, Bobby and Whitney were going through some stuff. You all remember. Meanwhile, Tony was doing great. So next thing you hear, the come up from Tony and her making an appearance on the Oprah show. is when conveniently Oprah accused her of overspending. Well, little does everyone know, Tony was bailing to wind out of jail for credit card fraud and paying her bills. Heck, her entire family except Tamar's. Now here's where the demon C Clive Davis got slick and discovered other strategies to expose Tony. It was told that he suggested Vince to manage Tony. But Tamar was the primarily target, especially when the truth came into the light of Tamar being the voice behind the star. So what happens, Tony was persuaded to introduce Vince to Tamar and hoping to keep Tamar in her corner. Heck, Tony desperately tried to keep Tamar in her corner. It was rumored of them sharing men at some point, oh yes. You see, Tamar was getting heavily involved in her own projects, but here's the thing. Vince is an Aquarius, and we love naturally talented people. And with our artistic creativity, we can make anyone a star. So Vince saw Tamar and heard her beautiful voice and started to lose interest in Tony's voice. Tony plan backfired, but her manipulations and no telling what else she secretly did sabotage her sister's career were already into play. Hence, all the bumps in the road during Tamar's success that always held her back. Tamar has finally saw the truth. And she cut ties with her leeching family who does nothing but bank on her humiliation and problems while they stay shunned on their own. Tony's being the primarily mute. Not all of them, but Tony. But in the midst of all this and getting back to the demon C, Clive Davis, he finally discovered Tracy's voice and now knows why the family tried to shine her out. So he's using her and making her a star now. Tawana is jealous because she gave up of personally pursuing her acting career for Tony and made promises of helping her with her acting Tony had done. Trina is looking for another Gabe. Someone to take care of her and put up with her crazy shit. Whatever is going on with her, I have no idea anymore. Tamar acts like she's incapable of being single and to finally focus on herself, her son, and career. She acts like another Jennifer Lopez. Go and check that out. But I do admire her cutting the poison lifeline that she was connected to for decades. <laughs> Tony is badly needing a really big hit. And to get Tamar back in her corner of control. Hell, the network is too. Tamar was their cash cow for a while. It was reported that David made some interesting accusations. In fact, he said that things went left between Tamar and Tracy at Trina Braxton's wedding. He said that Tracy was so angry at Tamar that she actually assaulted her. So he didn't think it was a good idea to try to bring them around each other again anytime soon. Interestingly enough, Tamar seemingly addressed the situations during her recent interview with Tamron Hall. As you all know, Tamar Braxton has been in the headlines for months now. She has been very vocal about her issues with WeTV. Even though she's been released from her contract, she called out the network again. Mm -hmm. Recently, Tamar was furious that in a trailer for the upcoming season of Braxton Family Values, her sisters and mother were 
Sean reacting to the news of her attempted suicide. Tamara Turner fans and her loved ones actually recreated their reactions for the show and she was disgusted. Not too long after she unfollowed everyone on Instagram, including her mother Evelyn Braxton. Then recently, Tamar appeared on Tamron Hall Show while discussing the stress she's been having about everything. Tamar revealed that her family has been trying to get her help, but they haven't been successful. This is what she said. We went for help, me and my family. We went for counseling because the show, it did create a lot of divisions between me and my sisters. And it did create, you know, something that was never there, which was we couldn't get along and we couldn't communicate. We stopped communicating and we just simply wasn't a family anymore. And that turned into a nightmare for me. Tamar explained what led her to try to take her own life. It was about feeling like I couldn't never be myself and being misunderstood and having the stigma of the angry black woman all the time. And that's not who I am. That's not what I wanted to portray. It wasn't just about being an angry black woman. It was about real issues coming up on the show. Getting back to her alleged assault with Tracy. She said about her alleged altercation with Tracy Braxton. Tamar said, I love my family and I don't want to fight with my family. She continued. And I want to be an example of a family who fights and argues and always have turmoil. And now we're at the point where it's assaults and threats. This is not the show that I created. I created the Braxton Family Values because I wanted to be an example part of the black community with five black amazing sisters with all different walks of life who can inspire and help and people can learn from our experiences along the way. We wasn't teaching anything but being devilish and I didn't want to do that. Timber said that she isn't innocent in all of this. Here's what she said. I'm not going to sit here and act like a complete victim. I played a part in that. I know what it's like to keep up ratings and keep up having the number one show on the network and having all of these bells and whistles and, and that comes with the price. Sometimes you that comes with embarrassing your friends or embarrassing your siblings. I don't think I sold my soul to keep the show on. I don't think at the time I knew exactly what I was doing. She continued. I think that for the show and for my family, we wanted to have a great show and sometimes that is making a deal with the devil and that is doing things that you wouldn't normally do. Now, I don't know if she's still with David. I have no idea. But it looks like she's getting some good advice from someone. She sound more mature and awake. I hope this positive outlook proceeds. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post more videos. Love you all. See y'all later. Bye.